Hey guys, welcome back. Today on The Untidy Artist, I am making a Valentine Pink Daisy Flower Fairy. This is from my Valentine Flower Fairy kit. This is one of the flowers that comes in that kit. And I wanted to do a detailed tutorial to give you some different ideas of different ways you can use this kit. If you want to purchase a fairy kit, there is a link to my Etsy shop below. If you have all of your own flower fairy supplies, I hope you find this tutorial helpful and I hope it gives you some fun ideas for your own fairies. The other two flowers that come in this kit are a gorgeous purple and red and pink peony and then a cream rose. And we'll be using this really cute spider daisy uh, to make her skirt. So that's what I'll be using from the kit. All of the supplies are in my kit. So this is what I'm using from the kit. I've got the pink uh, daisy. And I just think this is such a fun fairy skirt. It's whimsical and I just, I love it for fairies. And then I've got some thread and I'm actually using two of the colors of the thread that come in the kit. All of the colors are interchangeable and I wanted to show you some different ways to use them. So I've got the pink and then this burgundy color. And then I've also got my glitter packet and you guys, this glitter. Um, the little red hearts in it are so cute. I love this so much. So this is a um, custom glitter blend I've put together. And then I've got, I'm using one of the crystals that come in the kit. This is the rose colored crystal. And once again, all of these supplies that come in the kit can be used on any one of the fairies. And then the kit also comes with a wooden bead, floral wire, embroidery floss for the skin and the hair. And you get to customize that in your kit. I'm using the light skin tone and the light brown hair. And I've already twisted my doll together. If you're new to making fairies, there is a link for my basic flower fairy below. The additional items you'll need that don't come in the kit are some uh, Mod Podge. I like matte Mod Podge. Any kind of craft glue will work and a little paintbrush. And then I have some E6000 glue and a toothpick to apply the crystal. I've got a sharp pair of scissors and of course my trusty glue gun set on low because it's so much easier to work with the glue. Okay, let's get started. So the first step is to dress our fairy doll. So I'm taking the pink thread and I'm wrapping it right to underneath her arms and I'm giving her a little pair of shorts. There are detailed instructions on how to dress your doll. Um, I'm giving her a top with straps and there's also a separate tutorial for that. So I'm taking the burgundy and I'm wrapping it right up around the top and then giving her some straps. And I will link all of these different tutorials below. I break down every single step in these. So she's got, I, this is my new favorite way to do the top of fairy uh, doll dresses. I just think it's really cute. Okay, now we're gonna grab our flower and pull it apart. And one thing I love about this flower is it comes together so, so easily. Like the skirt is just super easy to put together. So I pull it all apart. I'm actually not going to use the smaller middle pieces, but I do save all of my flower petals. I've got a big bin of them. I think it would fun, be fun maybe one day to do a tutorial where I just use random petals out of that. But so we've got five layers of these petals and I actually set that one aside, but I went back later and added it. And you can see you've got an instant fairy skirt. You don't really have to overlap them in any different way because they're already... Um, perfect for a fairy skirt. Then I'm going to cut an X in the center of each one so we can slide the petals up and around her waist. And then I'm going to dress my doll. So I'm just taking those petals and I'm sliding them up and around her waist. And this, it was cute with four layers. I liked adding that extra layer underneath. It just made it a little bit fluffier. And then I'm going to grab my glue gun and using tiny dabs of glue, I'm going to attach the skirt just little dabs of glue in the front, the sides, the back. And there are there is a tutorial um, for fairy skirts that I will also link below. And you can see this is what we've got. Isn't that just the cutest skirt? I love it. Then I'm taking the red and I'm going to give her a pair of sassy red boots. And I have a gloves and shoes tutorial that will be linked below. So she's got these cute red shoes. And now I'm going to style her hair. So I'm just giving her a basic fairy hairstyle. And yes, there is a tutorial for this hairstyle linked below. Um, I'm just, you just take the thread, loop it up and around, glue it in the back. But I have tons of different hairstyles on, uh, that I can link below. Um, 
updos, braids, curls, all sorts of fun things. Then I'm going to grab a piece of paper. I've got a little bit of my glue and my paintbrush, and I'm going to add a very generous layer of the glue around the base of her skirt. Um, because this glitter has some bigger pieces in it, you want enough glue to be able to hold that down and be careful uh, not to get the glue on her hair after you just spent so long styling it. Then I'm going to grab the glitter and I'm just sprinkling it over the glue and lightly tapping it into the glue. And this kit comes with tons of glitter, plenty to decorate your dolls. And then I tap off the excess. And then I decided to go back through and uh, place some of the tiny hearts once again, which is my favorite part of this glitter. So I grabbed a toothpick, dipped it in the glue, put a little dot where I wanted the heart to be. And then I have these little tiny tweezers and I grabbed one of the hearts and placed it on top of the other glitter. So there were more of the heart showing sprinkled around the base of her dress. This might be my favorite part of this doll. It's so cute. So we have all of these cute sparkly little hearts. There are also tiny gold hearts in this glitter blend. And it's just so sparkly and pretty. It did take some time. Um, going back and adding the little hearts in specific spots, but I think it was totally worth it. I love how the red just pops out um, and those hearts are just so cute. The last thing we're going to do is add the crystal. So I take my toothpick and some of my E6000 glue, put a tiny dab at the top of her dress, and then I'm going to place the crystal right on top of that. Um, you could use any of the crystals that come in this kit for the top of her dress. They would all work which is one of the things I love about this kit. Everything that comes in it is super versatile and you can use uh, it in different ways to create your own unique doll. I would love to see if you purchase a kit, any fairies that you've made. Um, I think there's just so many fun options and different ways you can style these dolls. What do you guys think? I have to say, oh, once again, I love the little hearts. I love this uh, flower for a skirt. And here the same doll is with blonde hair and the light skin. And I'm probably going to go back through and add some more hearts to the top of the glitter because I think it's so pretty. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, once again, whether uh, you want to purchase a fairy kit, the link to my Etsy shops below, or you have all of your own supplies, I hope you found this helpful. Here's one of the other kits I just launched in my uh, shop. It's got this gorgeous selection of flowers and it has glitter and some crystals and I think it's just so beautiful. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found it helpful. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. It helps me out a lot. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with someone else that might love fairy making. And thanks again for your kind words, your comments. I love hearing from you guys. You're the best. We'll see you next time.